Hello and welcome to vlog number 104. This week I'm going to talk about obsessive and compulsive behaviour in Parkinson's disease. It's a known fact that certain medications which are widely prescribed for Parkinson's disease can cause impulsive and compulsive behaviour. And I'm going to talk more about that in just a moment. It could also manifest itself as a result of disease progression, although research on this has been sketchy to say the least. I did find a report entitled Obsessive Compulsive Symptoms in Parkinson's Disease by Allegra Junker et al. published by the Journal of Neurology, Neurosurgery and Psychiatry which found a link between disease severity and obsessive compulsive disorder. A number of non-demented, non-depressed Parkinson's patients were assessed against the Maudsley Obsessive Compulsive Inventory MOCI, and an amended Latent Obsessional Inventory LOI. Patients with mild Parkinson's did not display any obsessive traits, whereas patients with advanced PD did. A significant link between the severity and duration of disease and the MOCI score was found. Since patients with mild PD did not exhibit obsessive traits, the report concludes that obsessive compulsive disorder is not directly related to the death of dopaminergic neurons in the substantia nigra, which causes the initial symptoms of PD to emerge but could be as a result of neurochemical changes that occur in the basal ganglia as the disease progresses. This theory is supported by a number of structural and functional neuroimaging studies that have shown a relationship between dysfunction of the basal ganglia and obsessive compulsive disorder. It pales into virtual insignificance, however, next to the problems that can be caused by PD meds. I found many references on well-known and trusted Parkinson's websites to impulsive and compulsive behaviour being linked to medication, but the general conclusion was that it is rare and only a small number of people experience this. Well, if that's the case, then it must just be a coincidence that I have met and talked to so many people with Parkinson's who have told me about their nightmare experiences with medication-induced obsessive and compulsive behaviour. I found the results of a recent study published on www.medicalnewstoday.com in June 2018 that shows that approaching 50% of Parkinson's patients who take dopamine agonists develop impulse control disorders. The neurotransmitter dopamine is released by the brain when we experience pleasure and is at the heart of addictions on impulse control disorders such as hypersexuality, substance abuse, compulsive shopping and gambling. These behaviours have been found to be common in people with Parkinson's and prescribed PD medications, primarily dopamine agonists which activate the brain's dopamine receptors but also levodopa, are the main risk factor. Studies that were undertaken in the past showed a mixed bag of results, some showing a link between dosages of Parkinson's drugs and impulse control disorders and some not. Researchers led by Dr Jean-Christophe Corval of the ICM Brain and Spine Institute at the Pitié Salpietre Hospital in Paris, so now to see whether such an association could be established in a longitudinal study of a larger sample size. Of a group of 411 patients diagnosed within the last five years and followed for at least three years, over 85% have taken dopamine agonists at least once, and almost 20% reported obsessive compulsive behaviours ranging from binge eating to gambling. Of the 306 patients who did not suffer with impulse control problems at the start of the study, 94 of them developed such a problem during the study, amounting to, according to the researchers, a five-year cumulative incidence of 46%. This seems a little more prevalent than is suggested by the words rare and a small number of people. I understand that our healthcare professionals don't want to put potential customers off taking these medications because some patients gain benefit from them but I do feel that the incidence and impact of such devastating side effects is frequently played down. The neurologist who originally prescribed a dopamine agonist for me didn't mention side effects at all. Subsequently, another neurologist gave my wife and I a thorough breakdown of what could happen and told my wife to look out for signs of uncharacteristic behaviour. Fortunately, I didn't experience any impulse control issues, but I have friends with PD who were prescribed dopamine agonists and went on to financial ruin through compulsive gambling and compulsive shopping, made all the easier these days through the power of the internet. 
And it's sad that lives and, in some cases, relationships are so affected. Perhaps if the drug companies were made culpable and had to reimburse their victims, then there would be more of a culture of care regarding the prescription of these drugs. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.